What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video and thanks for getting Powered by Jordan. So today I want to talk about how you can get 5% stronger from your workouts in literally just 10 minutes. Now I'm going to get straight to the point here guys. Something that I see in the gym a lot that I notice people don't do is warm up and if they do warm up they're not warming up correctly. So if you want to get 5% stronger in the gym instantly before you work out you always want to start with a nice dynamic warm up. Now what does that mean exactly? Well, a dynamic warm-up is any type of warm-up that includes calisthenic movements coupled with some static holds, essentially just creating a dynamic in your body where you're not necessarily doing just stretching or just calisthenics. You're kind of combining the both into a dynamic movement. So I have a clip for you guys. I'm going to show you what I do for my warm-up and how it's going to get you guys 5% stronger for your own workout. Thanks guys. Alright guys, so first thing we got here is some unilateral leg swings, 5 reps on each leg. This is what I start out with, gets your hips nice and warmed up, gets your hamstrings nice and loose too. It's a good warm up, you want to focus here on keeping the knees straight, working with some speed but not too fast. Next up we've got some unilateral knee extension, this is going to help warm up your knee joints, make it so that you're nice and loose, if you're gonna, especially if you're getting ready for any type of run or squat. Super important warm-up to do. Five reps on each leg once again. All right, next we've got some knee drops. This is gonna open up your hips a little bit, open up that pelvic girdle. Nice rotation through the hips. And this definitely helps with any type of explosive movement. So anytime I'm doing any hip bridges, uh, squat, deadlift, running, always have to have this in your repertoire. I always like to start from the bottom down too, guys. Next, we got some um, leg swings over. This is gonna help stretch out your glutes, hips. Open you up nice. Pause on that, but yeah. This one can be kind of painful if you're sore, but always feels good. My big foot rocking the camera. And your warm-up, guys, should be about five minutes. This warm-up's about five minutes long. It's a perfect amount of time. Next, we got some bridges going on. So usually I'll do four reps, and then on the fifth, I go into my wheel. And I go into the wheel because it helps open up my back, open up my core. And this is what really is going to get the blood flowing, guys. Um, it's an advanced movement. The camera work here isn't that great, but it's an advanced movement. Um... If you're just beginning, just start out with the bridges and hold at the top. If you're advanced, you can try going into the full wheel. And if you're really advanced, you can try bringing your foot over, as I'm doing here. Now moving to some upper body warm-up stuff. So 10 push-ups, pretty simple stuff. All the way down, all the way up. You can see the triceps activating. My hamstrings helping stabilize my entire body. After that, you get into a nice 30 second plank. Hold that. At this point, the warm up actually starts to get a little bit, not difficult per se, but you feel that you're working out. Like in the beginning, it's kind of like a little bit relaxing. You know, you're just going through the motions. But at this point, you know you're in the gym. You know you're here to get some work in. And mentally, you start to get prepared. Uh, when I filmed this warm-up, I did an hour run on the treadmill. Uh, I do two types of hour runs. I do one where I'll go like steady state for an hour, put it on like 7.4, go for an hour. And then I have another one where I do a running circuit where I go for um, a faster speed for 20 minutes. So at, right now I'm at 9.0. Then I go into 10 minutes of a sprint circuit. 10 minutes of an incline hill circuit and then 10 minutes of a pyramid circuit where I'm just going from 5.0 and then every minute increasing it 0.5 speed. So I'm big into running. I like being able to move pretty easily through space. It's cool. Right here, we're doing a side plank, grabbing the foot to the top, yoga movement. Really gonna help open you up, open up your hips, hamstrings, glutes into a nice downward dog. I love yoga. Yoga is extremely helpful for everybody. Everybody should do yoga. Um, I'll be uploading a video on what I do 
some yoga stuff in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Downward dog, just bringing the, the right leg up, right leg up and over. All right. Left leg up and over. Right here, I'm really focusing on trying to bring my heels to the ground, opening up my glutes, hamstrings, core. Getting ready for a workout. Upward facing dog. As you can see, I kind of have tight hips, something that I've been trying to work on for years. It'll get better. Right here, this is super important. I ended off with some scap work, opening up the back, the thoracic area, stabilizing through the lumbar. I call them Y's, T's, and W's. That's pretty much the shape of the exercise that you're doing. Finish off some swimmers. This is a real shoulder killer. My shoulders are on fire at this point. At this point, I'm ready to start. I'm ready to get my workout in. I'm nice and warmed up, upper body, lower body. And sometimes ended off with a nice child's pose just to relieve some of that tension in the back after that. guys i hope you enjoyed that clip hope it was informative essentially guys warming up gets your body ready for any workout um i had a run today a long hour run if i didn't warm up correctly my chance of, of getting injured goes up and on top of that i'm not going to perform as well and i don't know about you guys but i like to perform to the best of my abilities in the gym i mean that's what we're there what we're there for right so with that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video and you like this type of content, share it with your friends, give it a like, comment down below. What do you guys do before you work out? Have you done some of this type of stuff before? Let me know in the comments, guys, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for getting Powered by Jordan.